Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Gen AI Vlog. Today, we're gonna take a deep dive of Mistral AI. Specifically, we're talking about the Mistral AI agent functionality. So you go into console and you click on the agent section. Here is how you create an agent. All you gotta do is click on this button and it will take you to this page. For sake of simplicity, let's check out my coding agent. And I had a problem here describing the purpose. Uh, literally, I just said, hey, you're a programmer and you can write any program for users. On top of that, I put a little bit of guardrail. I say, hey, for Python, we need to have doc string, comments, and typing. So I just to make sure the Python functions are cleaner. And once that's done, we can click on update and this will be able to deploy this agent live. So how do I invoke this agent? Well, if we go back to this page, this gives you an API ID. Uh, so we will be needing that when we invoke this agent. On top of that, obviously you will need an API key. And if you click on this section, you'll be able to create a new API key for yourself. So with that being said, this is all we need uh, to have the developer access. Now I can go to my Python notebook. I can go to my Colab. And the first thing I need to do is pip install Mistral AI. I will need to restart my session. Uh, so once that's done, first thing I need to do is to import my Mistral AI API key, which I use Google Secret to manage right here. Once that key is loaded, I then use this class object. The reason I use this class object as opposed to this function here proposed in the API doc is because I want to be able to grow the message as the conversation continues. So here you see that in this class object, we initiate with client and you notice that the history is empty list. And that's because we want to append the messages from the user as well as the system so that this history can grow. And when I make that API call, the history is then entered as a variable. So with that being said, I can define this class object and then I can instantiate a chatbot with an API key. Uh, so with that being said, all I need to do is say bot.generate response. And notice that here we will need two input arguments. One is agent ID, the other one is user message. So let's enter them one by one. In terms of agent ID, I will need to come back here to agents section and click on this API ID, just like that. Now I can put the ID in here. After that, I will need a user message. Now to demonstrate that this is an actually a coding agent, I will then need to ask a question that's related to some sort of coding or programming. So I can say, write a hello world Python program for me. I can save the output as a response and perhaps I can print out the response here. Boom, just like that, you can see that here is the response. It's a giant string. And the Python code is actually embedding here with an explanation and with a shell script so that we know how to execute this Python script. So with that being said, that's the part one of the episode. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like.